It is hot as hell in California, but given my African blood, I love it. I can adapt. We're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the red varsity and white colorway, aka metallic ones. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Costa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG White and Varsity Red Colorway, aka the Metallic Ones. We won't waste any time talking about my obsession and my love for Air Jordan 1s and collecting them. So let's get straight up into the review, guys. So nothing too different about this Air Jordan 1, unfortunately. I can't bring you guys anything special. So I'll just give you the highlights that we all know about. So going on the inside of the shoe, you'll notice that it has the Nike Air insignia. Check. On the medial and the lateral portion of the shoe as well, it has the Nike insignia. Check. Also, the tongue of the shoe has the Nike Air insignia as well. Check. The metallic ones come with a pair of white shoelaces and also a pair of red shoelaces. I put in the white shoelaces because for some reason I prefer that color. And I also did that same thing with the Midnight Navy metallic ones as well. Looking at the upper ankle region of the shoe, you'll notice what appears to be a patent leather, which is why they call the shoe metallic red, because they feel like this is a metallic coloring, but it's not really metal, people. It's actually a patent leather kind of material. You also see that at the Nike swoosh as well, and also at the side portion of the shoe as well. So pricing wise, retail, this sneaker goes for 160 bucks, but I bought it for 130 bucks. I waited it out a little bit, and got it at a discount, it'll probably go lower knowing that the Midnight Navy Jordan 1s went down to as low as 90 bucks or so. So if you want to wait and cop them a little bit later, go for it. Sizing wise, I went with a size 12 US and usually I go with a size 12 and a half. So guys, I would suggest going a half size down if you ask me. So Casa question of the day, guys. What do you guys think about metallic ones in general? Are they cool or are they crap? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. Hey guys, so my time is up. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and even hit that notification button if I treated you well during this video. But anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next episode of Casa Station Deuces.